Good morning and welcome to the all new Orca News. The headlines. Four new COVID 19 cases in Landova have been reported. Construction in Vernazola to continue after a year. Bidding on the expansion of the Sentimone Hotel. Congress approves the Expanded Roadworks Act. And a look at the CVTV infrastructure project. The health department reported four new COVID-19 cases in Landova. The total cases are now at 108. Active cases are now at 5. Recoveries are now at 97. There are now 2,116 individuals that have been partially vaccinated from the coronavirus. Phases 1, 2, and 3 are still in effect for vaccinees. COVID-19 alert levels are still imposed throughout Landova. Quarantine Isolation Level 1 is imposed in Picot City, Shudler, Plainsfield City, Sanamo City, Commerce Valley Terraces Village, Flathills Village, and Old Massa Village. And closure is imposed for the rest of Landova. Travel restrictions are still imposed for countries traveling in and out of Landova. The Health Department will be handling Phase 4 of the vaccination next week for people in public sectors, governments, and civil service workers. The second dose for partially vaccinated individuals will be done by the end of September. Sanamo City Mayor Stalin Limson had agreed upon the continuation of the Vernazola District project. More to report from George. George. Yes, Carson. The district of Venezuela and Sonoma City will be continuing its infrastructure project which was halted for a year due to delays in planning and lack of construction workers and laborers. According to Sonoma City Mayor Stalin Lim Sung, it was noted that they prioritized the districts of Praticano and Sonoma North during the establishment of the areas. The Hailside district of Venezuela is situated west of the district of Praticano, which is known for its tourist attraction of cliffside houses, establishments and a deep beach. Venezuela on the other side will be mainly composed of residential and commercial use primarily office buildings and hotels. Not much space has been occupied in the Hales area. Mayor Stalin Limson told to the Urban Planning and Development Department that one area of the district can be used for sightseeing, nature seekers, and adventures with its high mountains and steep cliffs along the area. Construction will take place within this week. Back to you Carson. Thank you, George. The owner of the newly built Santamone Hotel wants to expand its property real estate to occupy its small park area. More to report from Ludward. Ludward? Yes, Carson. The owner of Santamone Hotel wanted to expand and build a small park dedicated to the hotel. The owner is bidding the property owners of the occupied establishments he would want. The owner may recompensate with the affected owners. The request of the owner has reached Flathills Village Mayor Marco Fuentes in which he would accept it in which real estate agents may reiterate the value and compensation of the property the hotel will be holding. Hence. It is up to the owners of the affected claimed lands if they would handing out and agreeing upon the request and bidding of the owner of the hotel. Flathills Mayor Fuentes has scheduled the agreement process of the owners to be held in Sentamont Program House on Sunday. Back to you Carson. Will the owner of the Sentamon Hotel compensate freely on his request to get hold of the property he wants if the recommendation of the property law regulations which defines that 
under civilized request for some circumstances, it is the will of the rights of a certain holder to void requests upon the legal requirements of the affected person that claimed the real estate. How would that be when they have the right to have the claims and papers of their certain property holdings? Ludward? Yes, Carson. It's still up to them yet they will certainly be having a meeting on Sunday. Mayor Fuentes will be coming over as well as the Secretaries of the Interior Department, Urban Planning and Development Department, and Architecture and Infrastructure Department. They will be told about the handling process of the land as well as the plans of the Santa Mon Park bid. If the agreements have been made, the affected persons will be reimbursed for financial assistance or they would be given to receive property in Flathills Village during the expansion and renovation project. Carson? Thank you Ludward. Here's our weather for today. Hurricane Larry is now heading north-northeast and may begin to transition to an extra-tropical storm. Hurricane Larry is now a Category 1 hurricane with sustained winds of 150 km per hour according to NHC. The hurricane is located 525 km north-northeast of Bermuda. Larry is forecasted to move northeastward reaching Newfoundland in Canada, and in between Greenland and Iceland as an extra-tropical cyclone. Larry is not expected to make any impact in Landova. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Mindy had made landfall in northern Florida and Georgia yesterday. The remnants of Mindy have winds of 55 km per hour, and it was located 460 km east of Charleston, South Carolina. It is expected to dissipate by tomorrow. Congress has now passed the Expanded Road Works Act. More to report from Paul. Paul? Yes, Carson. Congress has passed the Expanded Road Works Act of 2021 in which all roads will be renovated and be replaced with asphalt and proper tar process. President Limson has yet to approve the said act. The Expanded Road Works Act covers all roads in all jurisdictions of Landova. It is mandatory to take action on all roads in Landova. The Architecture and Infrastructure Department stated that motorists and pedestrians must expect road closures in some places when the renovation begins. The road tarring project has already been started in the province of Ye Old Terrestrial and Plainsfield City. The act also covers the expansion of future roads in Landova such as road and lane widening projects. And also the act covers the deconstruction of old damaged roads as well as providing users access for pedestrians and motorists. Carson. Do we have updates on when the road tarring process will be done, if the act has been approved? Paul? Yes, Carson. The Architecture and Infrastructure Department has issued its initial schedule on the tarring of the roads. This month most will be done within the province of Ye Old Terrestrial and Plainsfield City. In October, tarring will be done in White Tone Village, the municipality of Two Door, Sonomo City, and some parts of Picot City. In November, will be the whole of Picot City, and some parts of Shotteler. Then for the rest of the year, will be the whole municipality of Shotteler as well as the remaining roads. Carson? Thank you, Paul. We now have a new segment called the Orca Facts in which every day we will be giving out facts that you may not know of our national animal, the orca or the killer whale. Our Orca Fact for today, did you know that orcas have excellent eyesight and hearing both under and above the water? The eye is located just below and in front of the eye spot. Orcas have excellent eyesight in and out of the water. They also have a well-developed sense of hearing. And like other cetaceans, 
Orcas receive sound through receptors in their jawbones. The jawbone acts as a conduit, transmitting the sounds to the ear canal and auditory nerves. Orcas use echolocation. They create high-frequency sound waves that are passed through the melon. The melon focuses these sounds and projects them into the water. The sound bounces off the objects and returns in the form of an echo. The Commerce Valley Terraces project has started this week. More to report from our new reporter and correspondent, Natalie Coles. Natalie? Yes and thank you, Carson. The Commerce Valley Terraces Village Infrastructure Project has begun this Tuesday, and we can see many streets were constructed. Many buildings will be starting to rise. The western portion of the village is almost encompassing small cottage houses for former residents of the village. Commerce Valley Terraces Village in Plainsfield City Mayor Nimbo Sopia is greatly appreciating the laborers and the national government for the start of the project. Mayor Sopia thanked all who will be part of the project and expected that CVTV will grow as it wanted it to be. Furthermore, closure is imposed all over Commerce Valley Terraces Village, which means motorists and pedestrians are not allowed to enter the village until the duration of the construction process of a particular place in the village. The estimated date of completion of the project has been expected earlier to be by the end of October. Carson? Thank you, Natalie. And that's it for today's morning news. We have our scheduled news posted here where and I will be your anchor for the morning news at 7.30 from Monday to Friday. Our reporter Natalie Coles will be the news anchor for the morning news at 7.30 also from Saturday and Sunday starting tomorrow. Louis Barnes and Mata Parkinson will be your news anchors for the evening news at 10, every day. This has been our news for this hour. This is Garson Nilgers. Reporting for Orca News. Good morning everyone.